Closer and closer to Friday night, but we will pass out one more belt as we kick it off here in Pizza Hut Stadium. Scott Cole and RG as we got the Packers and the Vikings. And Bam, he's going to start with it first. And Phenom's going to be in that Jets defense. Yep, Jets defense and surprise, surprise, that West Coast offense, the most popular offensive playbook we've seen in the entire tournament. And you know what? He can pass the ball, but he's had a lot of his success so far in this tournament actually running the ball out of that West Coast. So look for a balanced attack on the offensive side of the ball from Phenom. And Scheman's going to have the ball first, and he's going to be in that Saints offense, and it's all about that Taysom Hill package. Yeah, he's got unique schemes right here. I think only three other people using the Packers defense and only one other person besides Scheman using that Saints offense. So Scheman truly is Scheman when it comes to cooking up his game plan as he comes through with the unorthodox play, uh, playbooks and, and the club championship. And that certainly can help you on your first day. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens to some of these guys that are using Lamar Jackson when we get to Thursday and Friday when someone actually has time to prepare for what you're going to see here in a minute. Yeah, and that was a mature move. Scheman and Joke both organically, without talking to each other, found this Taysom Hill formation and this QB blast scheme out of the Saints playbook, and they both showed up with it here at the club championship, running something a little bit outside of the meta, and it's caught a lot of people off guard. They're both still in the tournament, and you know what? Hats off for them for get, thinking outside the box, putting in the lab work, and coming with a scheme that many people were not prepared for. Skeeman had 189 yards, two touchdowns on 21 carries for Lamar Jackson in his opening round game against Radiant, who is representing the Lions. That's like nine yards per carry. That's nasty. That's tough. Radiant's a tough opponent. He, we talked about him. He also plays in the 2K League. He was a two-sport eSport athlete, has elite stick work, and Skeeman seemed to handle him you know, quite easily pretty much. So he's not playing any games besides this game of John Madden football, and he's doing it at a high level here in this tournament so far. Second and four. We'll continue to break down this offense as we move throughout this ball game. And as Pollard goes a little bit forward, and that's the one difference than you saw from Joke yesterday was he didn't have an, uh, at least a serviceable running back. Bam feels like he needs it. Yeah, he has that team of the week, Tony Pollard. He has 89 speed, so he'll allow you to hand it off. But here we go early on. It's got fourth and one early for Bam. And you got to think, if Phenom can get a stop here, he is going to lose it. This is a young man that plays with a ton of emotion. He wears his heart on his sleeve. And look at him scullied up. Here we go, fourth down on our opening drive of the ball game. And Lamar will get the first down. How about a little bit more? Shakes and bakes to the outside. And he'll step out at the 48, just shy of midfield. And we talked to Scheman, you know, before the tournament started. And I asked him about making the switch to this Saints playbook. And he said, gee, my offense just hasn't been explosive enough. I've been so tough on defense, but I've stalled out on offense more than I like. So I needed to do something to give me some explosiveness in this O. And I think Lamar Jackson's done that for him. Oh, my How about goodness, that cross bro. body? Oh, my goodness, bro. He's in slow motion. Bro. That's like a dot. It's a laser beam across the body and a first down at the 38. You should have saw Phenom earlier when he was playing BG Fam in the Players' Lounge. He was capping so hard. Him and BG were going back and forth. At one point, they got a standing ovation from everybody in the Players' Lounge because that's how hyped it was during that game. Lamar to the outside, has a blocker ahead, and he'll slide out of bounds at the 19. That's a big game. Three carries for 35 yards. But you're not going to get much of a response from Scheman as it comes to the trash talk here. Oh, no. This is a guy that is extremely focused. Remember, Scheman, before making this event, had lost in the finals of his individual club three straight years. This has been a long road for him. And he said, you know what, G? I'm sick of laying down when it matters most. I am leaving it all out here on this tournament. Look for me to perform as best as you've ever seen. And so far, he's been true to his word. This is his third major appearance. He's put 25 grand in his pocket here in the MCS era. And he'll work his way down to the 16-yard line. 
And you like that change of pace with Pollard, mostly because of the fatigue. You know, you get a, a more recharged Lamar Jackson on the next down. Yeah, it lets you play at a different pace. Like, if you're joking, you have no running back. If you want to use Lamar, you got to take your time at the uh, at the play call screen. You got to let him regain his energy. With scheming, he could just hand it off to Pollard and play at a fast tempo. Lamar, all day in the pocket. Escapes out to the right. Looking, looking, and he'll just duck his way out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Here comes a third and three. And you see scheming. He has been scheming. This is a guy that ranks number one in offensive pre-play adjustments and offensive audibles. We've seen him in five wide. We've seen him in I form. We've seen him in that QB blast. So you're seeing why he has that nickname scheming. It fits him very well. He is going to throw the kitchen sink at you on the offensive side of the ball. And here is five wide. He'll audible. Here comes the blast. And there goes Lamar. And he fumbles it! And Lawrence Taylor's right there to pick it up! Look at the emotion from Phenom, and that is humongous, Scott. It looked like Scheman was having all kinds of success, was moving the ball at will, trying to run up the middle just to take the first down. And Phenom's defense causes the fumble, Bobby makes a big play, and look no at him, good. he's feeling it. So Lamar so coughs it up after a four minute and 13 second drive. And now Phenom, the man from South Carolina, will have the ball for the first time, but it's at his own 11 yard line. He'll hand it off to Chris Johnson. And that is not Adrian Peterson, the old 28 for the Vikings back in the day. No, oh, no, this is mud salary cap. You're not going to be seeing guys playing with the real Minnesota Vikings or the real Green Bay Packers. These are going to be teams that they constructed themselves, kind of like a daily fantasy lineup is the best thing I like to compare it to. But I do want to say, Scott, I got to wonder with scheming fumbling on that blast, you got to wonder, did he was he on that conservative ball carrier? Maybe he switched it away from conservative to get Tony Pollard some carries. Could have came back to bite him in the butt. I'll have to keep an eye on that as the game moves on. 0-0. Zero, zero. Getting near the end of the first quarter here. And Chris Johnson, there's nothing there. He's going to lose six yards as we head to the second quarter. 0-0 zero, zero between Phenom and Scheman. Scheman, good run defense right there. And that's the thing he struggled with the most. Looking at his statistics from the online ladder, he ranked 31st in run defense, so definitely his weakness if you look at the stats. So that's going to bring up a third and 14 from your own six after the fumble by Lamar. But remember, Phenom's good in this situation. He runs West Coast. He's going to come out and bunch. He has slot apprentice. He's got that dash and dead eye and escape artist. He has the pass place to pull this off. He needs to execute, though. Quick throw right up the seam. And this is close to the marker. It's going to be a fourth and one after a gain of 14. So maybe this is more like fourth and half a yard. Oh, here we go, Scott. This is going to be nitty-gritty-ish. Fourth and one already in the second quarter in your own territory. you got to make a play. It's going to be this fullback dive right up the middle. The question is, can Scheme and blow it up? And he can't. He'll pick up the first down. And almost like fourth and inches. He was so close to the marker. And he will get a new set of downs and, more importantly, get some breathing room. Yeah, that formation, those far and near formations out of that West Coast playbook are very good for those short yardage situations because you get those fullback dives and they happen so quick due to where the fullback lines up right behind the quarterback and unless you've practiced to stop that play you are not going to stop it it is a tough play to stop in short yardage situations stretches it out on the rpo to the 30 yard line now four carries for five yards hasn't really got the running game going yet yeah, I mean, this West Coast playbook, I mean, it's a lot of it's about the gun bunch, but then you mix in some of that I-form twin tight end that it has, these far and near formations that all have fullback dives and halfback dives in them. I mean, there's just a lot to account for in this playbook. He's got a very balanced attack, if you haven't seen so far. And he'll sling it to the outside. On, Lattimore was there, and Harrison couldn't squeeze it. <laughs> Scheming kind of 
gives him a look like, don't throw in my direction. That could have been yicked. Fiend unfortunate that it turned into a tip pass, this incompletion. These guys are battling. Yeah, sort of lollipopped it in there, and now here comes a third and four at the 30-yard line. It's been a defensive battle so far. Bin and don't break as Tyreek one more time, and this time he can't hold on to it. Tried a possession catch, and he dropped it. Oh, you don't see him drop that possession catch often. And it looks like Phenom going to have to go for another fourth down. He already converted one. Can he make it two? If you're Bam, you can't continue to let up fourth down conversions. It's a remedy to lose Madden football games. Bunch of the right quick no! throw, and Hester. No. no. Coughs it up, and it's a turnover on downs. And Bam hits him with the Bam. Scheman says no. That was a user click on. User hits stick to knock the ball out. And Scheman made one heck of a play right there to force the turnover on downs and get possession of the ball back. High level play right there from Bam. So now first and 10 at the 30. Still looking for our first score of the game. And he'll hand it off to Pollard. And he'll work his way to the 25. Four carries, 10 yards. We've really only seen one big play. That's when Lamar got outside for about 30. That's what Bam needed. He said that QB blast gives me the explosiveness I have on offense. I'm not going to run it every down, but I'll definitely go back to it at least 10 to 10, 12 times a game, he said, to make them respect it and make them show me they could stop it. But he continues to stay in this five wide. Take off escape artist style to the 23. And that's going to make it a third and four. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. And we've got donuts on the board. Yeah, that's what happens when you got guys, you know, running the ball a lot, keeping the ball on the ground, completing passes. That clock moves quick. And that's why you'll see people aggressively go for it on fourth down. This isn't a 15-minute quarter NFL game. These are five-minute quarters. Every possession is that much more important. It forces you to play an aggressive style of football. Lamar, this time to the right. Can he get outside Trey Waynes? No! And now you got to get your boot out. 41-yard field goal and coming. It's the little things that count, Scott. That, that stop right there is because Phenom clicks onto that defender and cuts off the QB and makes the tackle in the backfield. If he lets the AI in pursuit right there, probably gets outran for a first down. Field goal up, and it's good. You saw that little nugget. Techers and Henry and the NFC East coming up next. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. Tech, how about how cool of a story is that? You got the Madden Classic runner up, 16 year old Henry. And then you got Techers, our first ever international champion, hailing from the UK. Shout out to Papa Techers. He's actually from the UK, but a big football fan, big Redskins fan, and kind of got his son into the sport. And now his son's bursted onto the Madden scene. That's going to be a good game to check out after this one. So after the field goal, Phenom will start at the 25-yard line. He's got 153 left in the half, all three timeouts. It's a nice scully, huh? Shout out to New Era hooking these guys up. And that will go nowhere. Remember, they... Look at that. Look at that, Scott. And they, they didn't just they prepared us last year, remember? They hooked us up, too. I'm still looking to wet beak on this trip. <laughs> but, yeah, they hooked them with the Scully. I think they got the new hats that just came out for, for the holiday season for each of the teams that represented. I mean, they got a nice little swag bag. And we used those, like, two weeks later. We went up to Canada. Yes, and we, we were all new era up. It's and my bald head says thank you. <laughs> So first and 10 after he wheels it outside. Coming up on a minute to go in the half. Luck. Buying some time, and he'll just throw it away. And if you're a casual Madden gamer watching this, pay attention to how often these guys throw the ball away, Scott. When you're playing a normal Madden, you know, your brother on that, they'll never throw the ball away. They'd rather force it into coverage. That's not what you want to do. You want to take a note from these guys. If there's nothing there, all you got to do is get outside that pocket, click in the right stick, throw the ball away, lift the fight another down like a good quarterback would in real life. Luck again. 
Gets out of the pocket for a moment. He's going to scramble and smartly slides down. Oh, man, he's running out of time here, Scott. Goes quickly. And here comes the screen team. Go quick hike. You better punt that ball. You better punt that ball. Bam's the older player just trying to give him advice. Punt it away. Yeah, you see Bam talking to him. And, you know, walking around, seeing these guys walk around the hallway leading up to this match, they both had a scary focus type of aura coming from both of them. They both want this game. They are locked in. They are all in. And we're seeing it now. Both these guys representing oh, coast to coast. Bam from nearby Berkeley, California. Just over the bridge. And Wait a minute. You go back to Phenom and he's in South Carolina. It's right by your neck of the woods. Not too far. Look at this, Scott. Phenom deciding to go for it on fourth and five in his own territory with only 28 seconds left. This is either going to be amazing or insane. He's one for two on fourth down conversions already here in the first half. I don't agree with this. This is too risky. He motions out Hester. Luck will roll that way. He'll throw it. And this time Hester can't hold on. Oh, man. That, that's a risky, risky play. But, hey, Phenom, you know, he, he's used to the action. Like I said, this is a guy that trains MMA. He's ready to take some chances. Let's see if that one comes back to bite him. If he could just make sure Bam gets three at the most, he's in good shape. But if Bam somehow turns this into a touchdown in this 24 seconds, that'll really do a lot to his chances to win this game. And what a throw along the boundary. He gets out of bounds at the 18. And you got to respect the way Bam's playing here, Scott. He's not just coming out running QB blast every single down, trying to cheese it up. He is mixing it up. He is dotting. He is running. He is cheesing. He brought the whole tool bag to the party. First and 10 now from the 18. Coming up to the half. Lamar scrambling. And it's going to be first and goal from the six. And he'll have one timeout remaining with 12 ticks to go. Yeah, and this timeout right here, you see Bam has one timeout right there. That is critical because it gives him the entire playbook right here. He can run, he can pass, and then call that timeout and still have time to run another play. Empties out the backfield. He'll bring Pollard back. He's going blast. And he will run it, oh! and he'll get in there. Touchdown, Skeeman. It's been over 900 days. Oh, man since he's made his last live event. And he said he was gonna leave it all out here on the virtual gridiron, and that's what he's been doing so far. And now he's reaping the benefits with a 10-point lead over Lord Phenom. 10 seconds to go in the half. Hester, the danger man. Will spin his way to the 27. Take a look at it again. QB blasts, bam! Right up the middle, that's what he fumbled on earlier. And look at that emotion, Scott. You think that young man wants it? A guy, Mark Samuels Jr. is from Berkeley, California. So maybe one play. He does have two timeouts, and he'll stumble, and he'll use one. Last play of the half coming up. Phenom's been on the struggle bus a bit. And he'll hand it off. Chris Johnson will spin. It'll be a first down, but the clock triple zeros as the second quarter comes to a close. Scheman, but now a 10-point lead at the half. 10 to nothing. And of course, these guys like to talk. You saw the emotion. And we got both of these gentlemen wired up here at the club. Come on. Come on, man. Look. Come on, man. No. No. You better punt that ball. You better punt that ball. Come on. Let's go. One of my favorite things we do here and the MCS is the Snickers' most satisfying moment of the year. If you remember, Skimbo took home a year supply of Snickers a year ago. You'll have the opportunity to vote 
on some of these incredible moments and highlights throughout the majors here in Madden NFL 20. And we have seen some good ones up to this moment, but we still got a long way to go in the MCS. Yeah, here we go in this one, Scott. We got a whole second half. And with Phenom being down two possessions, he's going to get this ball to start out, and it's going to be pivotal for him to get points on this drive, make this one possession ball game. Lucky for Phenom, he's starting with the ball. Down two possessions. He's got to get this offense going. He's been careless at times. And maybe decision-making, this should be a 3-0 ball game. Yeah, the, I was shocked that he went for it in his own territory on fourth down at the end of the half. Even if it is Madden football and you're supposed to be a little more aggressive, I just didn't think the risk was worth the reward, and Phenom paid for it. Low throw to Harrison. He'll pick it off the turf. It's a gain of nine. You know it's a random fun fact about these guys, Scott, is they both grew up playing ball with elite-level basketball players. We had Phenom grew up playing ball with John Morant of the Grizzlies, and Bam grew up playing with Damian Lillard of the Trailblazers. He's actually a coach for a Dame Lillard's AAU team. Come on, man. Who do you like in a two-on-two? -two? <laughs> Ja and Phenom or Lillard and Schemen? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Lillard. No, no disrespect. <laughs> Ja's balling right to now. Ja, he is balling for the Grizz. Of course, Phenom went to Crestwood High School down there in Sumter, South Carolina. Not too far from Charleston. This is good. This is good if you're Phenom. He's now moving the ball. Bam, lurking with those linebackers. And remember, Madden 20, that might have been an interception in the past, but Madden 20, those linebackers no longer able to jump like they were used to. And Lawrence Taylor's going to get in there. It's going to be a sack. But just a loss of one, that's a that's a good sack to take. You see guys like Kiv, Skimbo, no one to take a sack. There's nothing. And Luck will try to take Ooh. off again. This time he swerves the spy. And he's going to be close to field goal range here. That's really good stick work right there from Phenom. Like he said, Bam has a spy trying to account for that escape artist. Phenom says, I don't care about your spy. I'm going to get a little sticky. Gets himself in the field goal range, but he's not thinking about field goal right now on third and five. He's thinking about converting and turning this into a touchdown drive. Trying to take his time, trying to get Hester some energy back here for this key third down. Able to pick up the pressure. Gets outside, he's going to let it fly. Oh, all game. And all he game. caught it, but couldn't all get game. two oh, feet in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was almost Dottie. Look oh, at it on the game, replay. Bro. Yeah, and Tyreek just... Missed getting his feet in bounds. Good kick. This isn't a give me either. Up and it's good. And so he brings himself back within a touchdown. But maybe it should be a tie game. Uh, we told you this was going to be a battle, Scott. And a battle it has been. The question that I want to see answered on this drive is does Bam go to his? Let's look at the replay real quick before I go on. Look at Hill. Possession catch, oh, and his left foot just gets knocked out of bounds before it could get down. That's a tough break. You feel like if Troy P didn't come over there and make some contact, it might have been a touchdown. Oh, for sure. But I'm interested, what I was saying, Scott, I'm going to be interested to see how often does Bam go back to that QB blast right here on this drive. And what type of defense does Phenom have for it? Because the majority of Bam's big plays have come from that sneak. So first and 10 at the 23. Scheming up by a touchdown. He'll hand it off to Pollard. And the former Memphis Tiger will pick up three. Yeah, you got, you got to remember, if you're Bam, you spent 174 cap on that Lamar with the escape artist and fast break. So you got to make sure that you get him enough carries to really utilize that. But so far, he seems to really like going to Pollard and I don't know if I agree with it because he's had success with the blast. So second and seven at the 26. Harrison will move over to the slot on the right side. He's looking at him and he'll throw. And it's hauled in at the 47. This is just so schemey by scheming. 
He just makes you respect that blast, so you can't come out in your normal 1-4-6 or your 3-4. You got to play a different kind of defense when he sees you doing that, only sending a base four-man rush. That's when he pulls out the dots, gets the rollout going. And that's a great way to keep your opponent off balance, make them respect something, and then take what they give you when they're respecting that. That's scheming right there. So a new set of downs at the 47. This time he'll run it. That could have been dangerous as he spun, and he actually just loses a yard. Hey, I, I like what Phenom's doing right now. Just a normal base four-man rush. He's got some seam flats out there, and they're containing this blast pretty well. It's either they blow it up in the backfield or Bam breaks it for 20. It, it seems to be either or. So after the loss of one, second down. Scheman's looking, trying to buy some time, and he'll just throw it away. And here comes a pivotal third and 11 with only 30 seconds left in the quarter. This game has gone by fast, and every play just feels as, as important as the next. If you're Phenom, you could really get yourself some much-needed momentum right here with a stop. If you're Bam, a first down is huge because you could probably take this to the fourth quarter as long as the clock's moving and then continue to milk that clock in the fourth as you try to make it two possessions. Lamar, this time will roll to his left. Hit as he throws, and it's held on at the 36-yard line. What a play. As it looked like Lawrence Taylor is in coverage. And that's probably the reason it got in there. Lawrence Taylor was all over him. And it's a new set of downs as we head to the fourth quarter. Here in the NFC North. And of course, this final five minutes presented by Snickers. Oh, no, no, no pressure. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. Seven point game. As we start the final frame, Ski Man with touchdown lead and the ball just outside of field goal range. I'm just appalled that how many times do I got to see the creamy Snickers commercial before I get a creamy Snickers? I'm still yet to have one on this trip, Scott. Not happy about it. I know your strategy. Just keep talking about it until it happens. Now speak it into existence, Coltrane. That's the voice of RG, Scott Cole with you. Madden game 500 and something that we've done together over the last couple years. And it's just been getting better and better. As we got a first and 10. He just keeps mixing it up, and this time Lamar's oh, going to fumble it. Oh, and we might have a scoop and a score. Come on. Green's got to get it going. Come on. Oh, my God. At the combine, he ran a 9-6 in the 40, and he won't get there. Can you feel that intensity, Scott? Can you feel that intensity right there? Phenom makes a big play, gets the fumble. You think he's going to the cribbo. The battery on his defender just died out, gets tackled. But did you see that emotion? Do you think this is a young man that wants it or not? I think he wants it. Second time today, they've turned it over. Quick Come throw, on. and it's a touchdown! Phenom is back! Give me the game, please! Give me the game! Come on! I love the passion, Scott. On, I'm a big man. fan of the passion. The thing that you got to be careful with is when you start smacking your hands Give against the, the thing. Give the hands the are the money makers. <laughs> you got to protect the hands at all costs in a video game tournament. You can yell, you can beat your chest, but please don't bang the hands off the chair. Got to protect the money makers. We're tied at 10, and it's another fumble by Lamar that sets up the score. Look at that. Clicked on, user strip fumble. That's Phenom making the play. And you look at Green. He had no stamina. <laughs> Completely died out. But Phenom 
didn't care as he converted the touchdown anyway. And look at us, Scott, 10-10 in the fourth quarter. We told you this was going to be a battle of the pit bulls. They're both dogging around, battling. Hands it off to Pollard. Pollard with a nice run. That'll be a gain of eight. So here comes a second and two. And certainly, <laughs> Scheman has the offense to maybe get the four-minute offense out there. And if you're scheming, Scott, and you've now fumbled twice on that QB blast, that could mess with your mental a little bit. That's your go-to offensive play. But now you got to be a little bit worried about running it as it's caused two turnovers already. Looks like he might go back to it right here. Got to be careful. Shotgun formation once again. And will yes. pick up the first down. So he'll get a new set of downs at the 32 as King comes in with a tackle. His first of the game. I like what Phenom's doing. He's, in, he's usually in a primary 3-4 defense, but he's in this 3-4 over end. It lines up just like a 4-3 defense, gets those ends a little bit wider, and it's making it harder for Scheman to get that QB blast outside to the numbers. This is good defense for that, uh, for that blast by Phenom, especially given the little amount of prep time he's had for it. And Pollard will pick up seven. What would you what were you saying the guy's name was? The the playbook guy over there at Tiburon? Anthony yep. White. Hey, yeah. Let me shout out my guy Anthony White on the development team. One of the hardest workers in the building. Studies game film day in and day out to make the playbooks as authentic as possible. Just got that feature in the game where they update the playbooks throughout the year. It's been a big mentor to me. Shout out to A dub back in Tiburon watching. And this Taysom Hill package is a big part of it. He's doing it certainly different than Joke. And right now he's in a hell game, 10-10. And Lamar will sort of roll his way over the top for the first down. And he's taking his time. I think he's thinking this is going to be the last drive of the game. I, I, I'm going to go down here and maybe kick a field goal and win it. Oh, that's exactly what Bam's trying to do right here. He's scheming. And you've seen it, 13 rushes for 61 yards, one touchdown, and two fumbles for Lamar Jackson. You spend 174 cap on him, one-fifth of your cap, you expect him to do a little bit more. I have a feeling he's going to have to get it done through the air with Lamar if he's going to want to win this game. Phenom keeps creeping down in the box. Coming up on the two-minute warning. Yeah, he's going to go to Tony Pollard right here and just take it to the two. And Pollard will get to the edge. And really nobody touched him for about the first seven or eight yards. That's a gain of nine. And it will take us to the two-minute warning. It was ten unanswered by Scheman. But Phenom's come back with ten of his own, and we're tied. Just 120 seconds left in this one. Second and one now. Just cross midfield here for Scheman. And he'll pick. Well, it's going to be close. And it will be a first down. I'll tell you what, Scott. The quote I have here from Scheman is, gee, I am tired of striking out when I need it most. Well, guess what, Scheman? You're in the bottom of the ninth right now with the full count and the base is loaded. Let's see what you're going to do with it. So after the game of two, they do give him a first down. Coming up on a minute, 20 left in the ball game. And Lamar will slide down. He wants to keep that clock moving. And here's the second and two and coming. And maybe, what would you say, three yards out of field goal range? Yeah, maybe one or two. I mean, two yards. We, we've seen them hit from 36. I like it from scheming right there, though. It looked like the corner route was open. He went with the safe bet, took his yards with Lamar, and more importantly, kept this clock moving. That is not... Phenom's uh, friend right now. And Lamar will pick up the first down and slide down. And if you're Phenom, you might want to think about using some timeouts. Yeah, if you're Phenom, you got all three of these timeouts right here. You're going to have to start using them if you're going to want a chance to get this ball back. Make something happen. Looks like it's going to come down to a pressure kick from Bam if the way things keep going the way they're going. 22 seconds to go now. Pollard will fall forward to the 33. And it will be Scheman using a timeout. 
An interesting call right there from Scheme and maybe just wanted to give himself a, a moment to collect his thoughts and think about how to handle this situation. This is the most important drive of his Madden career to this point. And oh! Oof, gotta be careful. Got dangerous as Lamar stumbled, but he does take it to the 30-yard line. That's a gain of three. Would be a 47-yarder from there. I'm not sure I'm not just taking a knee. They kick the game winner. Pollard will lose a yard. Moves it over to the right hash, and here comes the moment of truth. And Phenom will call a timeout. It should be an ice kicker situation. It'll be a 48-yarder to move on. This is a big money kick here for Skeeman. The kick is up. And yeah. just Let's sneaks go. in on the right side. Skeeman has won it with a 48-yard field goal.